the kind of thing that is typically done in buildings to achieve a level seven. Level seven is armor piercing. So if we were to be doing a high level government facility, say something like the White House, it would be reasonable to assume that you'd have something like this throughout the walls, ceilings, and floors of the rooms that you really wanted to protect against projectiles coming in. Is it possible that the president is hardening the White House even further, perhaps expecting a direct attack? While the White House is fortified against acts of war, just how vulnerable is the president and his family to an attempted assassination? In the age of terrorism and political assassination, just how safe is the White House? And are there secret measures in place to keep the president and his family secure? The White House is sort of a mecca for all these nuts in the world who, who want to just go after authority. The president is the top enchilada, and so they will show up at the White House and uh, try to get in. The service takes those threats, uh, regardless of whether it's against the president, the vice president, members of the family, uh, the White House itself. I might get a PS5 and play with you as well, and I was worried about that, but I'm so grateful that you decided to let me know that you're not those murdering type of fools and you're willing to grind and get paychecks, that I'm going to need it. If I'm starting out, I'm going to need it. Uh, I could never, on Xbox, I could never find people willing to grind through the game. Anytime I was on, they were off. Anytime I was off, they were on. And it's just like every time I'm trying to play a game or something and get them to play, they don't want to play that game. They just want to fuck around and, you know, shoot it, shoot you. Or destroy your shit, you know? And I had everything nice. They're like, oh, I've never seen one of those. Bam! It's all this guy. And I'm like, motherfucker, that's my Akula. Driving in bad weather, 